All right, everyone, Supreme Kami over here, and today we are going to be doing some EX2 testing for these uh, March edition welfare units over here. So, we got ourselves the Extreme Gundam, we got the Blue Destiny 2 right here, and then last but not least, we have the Saku Amazing over here. So, I am going to perform two testing for you guys over here. So, one is going to be a few testing. So, I'm going to simply hop into a just one of those normal multi vision match with a 100% cooldown build. So primarily in that setup, I just want to test out how, it, like in terms of this one over here, I simply want to test out how effective those handguns uh, EXK are, those rocket launcher, and etc. Right? And then this one, I simply want to test out the abdominal wire cannon. Is that cannon or missile? I think it's missile. Missiles with that, all right? And then the the beam saber combo over there and then this one over here um this one shouldn't be too much of a testing so this one is purely going to be relying on that um extreme tension for that wagon ex skill so the back ex skill should be a very um generic one and then as for the second testing i will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison uh to the prior author like prior to alteration and then after alteration and see what kind of output difference we can be getting so that said that can give you a pretty good barometer like whether or not you want to alterate your parts or not so without any further to do let me do hop into some showing uh, testing for you guys and see how they performs all right so we are in so let's see so this one shouldn't take too long in terms of testing over here because uh in terms of the double saber rush i think it's just going to be a very boring ex skill over here so let's see what we're doing yeah it's, it's very generic so definitely you can chain in a lot of multiple hit for sure why is my cooldown so bad i, I don't i don't know all right, let me activate this right here. So we're gonna be playing some guitar, obviously. And you guys can see that throughout the Extreme Gundam right now, there's actually quite a, a number of particles just kind of flying around. So all right. So right now we do have some attack buffing as well. So that's a quite good actually. So yeah, I mean, that's uh, pretty much it in terms of the EX scope here. So just activate this right here. You get some healing, you get some attack buffing. So can't really ask for anything more than that. That's just a, very good, you know, utility wise, the EX gear there. So that's gonna be pretty much it in terms of Extreme Gundam. So, a just a very generic EX gear right there in terms of the backpack one. So, now let me do hop in with uh, what's next? I'll actually test out Blue Destiny 2 first and then we'll jump straight into the side queue. Amazing. All right, so we're now back with Destiny 2 right here. So, let's see what these can do. Oh, yeah, this one hits pretty hard. So, we are looking at around four hits. All right, not bad actually. So pretty nice chunks of damage. Oh, we actually we target the other enemy as well. So I wanna, I always wanted to test what kind of range we we're looking like, and that's not good actually. Limit break on, and then oh, nice. So yeah, with that limit break on right there, so any of your shooting EX skill does get a immense uh, deep, uh, range right there. So that's why we were able to hit from that. Oh, nice. So uh, that's something I'm pretty sure you guys do already know that. So this is gonna hit as well. All right yeah that's good that's a pretty good chunks of damage right there for sure this one oh yeah all right this one did not hit because uh obviously the timer went out already so without the let's say the limit break active we can see that it's not gonna have that much of a range so that is a definitely something we're able to test over there so in terms of uh let me uh do i want to get that for i want to see if i can connect from here please connect Come on, man. I was trying to... Okay, I guess I'll do hover over there. I don't know why the blue destiny is just, just like that. It, it just flows there. <laughs> for for whatever reason, it just flows there. So I want to see if it actually tracks to the other... No, it does not. All right. I thought it actually tracks to the enemy, but it actually does not. So this one is just uh, knocked out right there because uh, it's not really anti-flinch. No, no airframes on this one. So you just down to get hit. This one is even worse, I feel like. Oh, it this track. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, this EX skill is even worse than the one we test out from the extreme Gundam. So what about this? Alright, activate this right there. So this one is a primarily only boosting your melee attack up and then speed increase. So um any of your uh, rank EX skill, they're not getting that. So, oh, what was that tracking right there? Nice. <laughs> okay. That's actually really good right there. Okay. All right. So what are we? How are we doing right there? Can I split them? No, I cannot. Can we move? 
Ooh, nice. So with a little bit of a close proximity action right there, we were able to take out both enemy, no problem. So that's uh you gotta have your enemy really close to each other to make that happen. But um other than that, in terms of the range on that one with the limit break on, you can definitely get an immense amount of range on that. Alright, so last but not least, we are gonna try out the Saku Amazing up here. So let's see what they're doing. Oh, they hit fast. Yeah, this one is good. That's why I kind of like this one. Ooh, look at those massive hits right there. Okay, but what kind of range are we getting at right there? Okay, I thought it's gonna hit. So this one is a slightly worse because this one is more. The handgun is definitely gonna be like a close range weapon. So with limit break, can we actually hit from here? Yeah, let's get it. Okay, it's it's uh, definitely slow. I gotta say that's uh, definitely for sure. This one is not gonna hit. Oh, what? What is that handgun? Hello? Tracking, tracking, hello? Okay. With that limit break on, you can definitely get a lot of range on these. But you know, without the limit break, they are definitely more or less like a close range of weapon for sure. So this one is definitely gonna be more a, of a slow action right there. So three hits from the handgun, and then how many hits are we looking at right there? So we are looking at four to six hits, I think. It's Four hits. All right, all right. Yeah, this one definitely give you a little bit more explosive action, so you can definitely chain it into your other enemy. So AKA um, just trying to get everyone right. That's nice. So I really have not tried out the heat rush right here. Yeah, this one is just bad. Is it? Is, is this not bad? Oh, ooh, hold up. Can I actually take out these guys first, and then I just want one left. So this one looks like it's gonna be like a. Ah, so yeah, the problem this one is the range on like the actual dashing is too short. Like, if you would have gave us like a little bit more, like you know, range that that would be a very good EX skill. Like, it's just coming way too short. Like, you, you you literally have to be right up in your enemy, like somewhere around here, then it would probably connect. And then you got to keep that in mind because enemy tends to evade, they they tend to like back it up, so that's why it's not that good. But okay, I like the other two EX skills, so I feel like with the alteration, I think they will perform a lot more better, I think. But the uh, heat rush, the range is way too short. I just wish that they could have gave it a extra tiny bit of range, like, because you, you saw the enemy backing up, right? So there's really nothing I can do with that, that moment right there. So I'm going to hop into a side comparison, so going to be trying it out now prior to alteration and then after alteration and see what we can do. Alright guys, so with that being said, that is going to be the quick EX skill showcase comparison for the alternated and the an alternated version. So I gotta say, in terms of the cycle amazing, I'm definitely blown away in terms of like how much damage the heat rush can do afterward. I think it's pretty much the fact that it was already a deep power prior to alteration and then after alteration jumping to a B plus power, you were able to see a lot of damage after that. In terms of like the handgun and then the rocket launcher, they were doing a fairly amount of good damage after alteration. So in terms of how they looks, in terms of animation wise, I think the handgun um, definitely can be a sneaky good option for like a quick tap, three tap for example. So that's quite nice. Uh, up next we do have the uh, the BD2. This one is uh, kind of okay. Not much like anything to surprise, I guess. Maybe the Domino Chest EX skill, the Wire EX skill, is uh, is kind of cool, I, I guess in a way. Does shoot four rounds of missile, so yeah, it's kind of whatever as well. And then last but not least, we have the Extreme Gundam. So here, 
the EX skill, the back EX skill is uh, not like anything too grandiose, for example, just a fairly mediocre one. So, I mean, they are doing a fairly good amount of damage, especially for the melee aspect of it. All of them were able to wipe the enemy with like one single EX skill, so that's quite nice. So, um, so this right here would definitely give you a good barometer of like how they perform. So, with that being said, that is going to be pretty much it in terms of this video right here, and I'll catch you guys all on the next one.